here, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to the 15th of March and our second photo and palette for Shutterbug AU, my make along. The 15th of March would have been my mother's birthday if she was still with us, so I get a little flat around this time, but we will soldier on and see what we can come up with. The first photo for the 1st of March was really well received. A lot of positive feedback about the information on Japan, variegated yarns and solid yarns used that were beautiful. Thank you to all those people taking part and posting pictures. It is greatly appreciated. If you're new to the channel, you cannot, it's not too late to join. You cannot miss out on doing Shutterbug AU for at least one month. I'll leave, I don't know if it's this side or this side, a link to the video telling you about Shutterbug AU. For me, I used variegated blues. I finished my second bump on my um, bumpy love bug, Shutterbug, for, and um, I started my third with the same blue, teaming it up with some green. So I'm often running on the third bump. I also, so you can see the variegated yarn I used. This is the blue variegated I used and some blue, which I've put into my hip to be square blanket that I'm doing at the same time. So that's what I did. So 15th of March, our second photo. Inspired by the fact my mother loved gardening, loved flowers, and I get it from her. Um, if you've been with me for a while, you know I love my garden. I love to get out in it. I love to see what's out there, what's growing, what's turned up. This morning, I went out. I thought, oh, my pineapples are looking good. They did from the front, two of them. At the back were two big holes where a bandicoots had a nice pineapple supper last night. The joys of gardening. I guess they've got to eat something. Anyway, this photo was taken in Edinburgh last year when we were on holidays by Thing. I love this photo because of the beauty and the timing of it. When you see the photo, you might understand what I'm talking about. When we went to Scotland, I had a fascination with Scottish thistles. Yes, Scottish thistles. Who knew they were a weed? They would be everywhere, but they weren't as big and lush as I thought they would be. I wasn't disappointed, just surprised. I had this impression what they would look like. But this one particular day, we decided to walk from the top of the Royal Mile at Edinburgh Castle all the way down to the bottom to the palace of Holyrood House. Um, this is the official palace where the king stays when he's in residence in Edinburgh. It's also home to the royal, the Scottish royal family's history. It's open to the public, you can go in, but we chose not to. We were too busy enjoying the sights and looking at the gardens. Now on the left side as you faced the gate of the palace was this beautiful community garden that was alive with bugs and butterflies and bees and beautiful flowers and lo and behold in there were the biggest Scottish thistles I saw the entire trip and Thing happened to take a photo of one of them that just was amazing and I love it. I'll just set up my laptop and show you our photo. Photo number two. I'm trying to stop the glare from the lighting. Um, this particular photo introduces a colour I don't think we've had yet, purple. I love this photo because of the bee on the flower and the one above it just about to take off and the size of these Scottish thistles. I'll just put this down, it's a little heavy. Don't forget there is a photo of this at the end for you to check out the detail and the colours. Um, showing you on the laptop or the iPad is not always easy depending on when I'm filming and lighting. Now, if you're interested, you can Google Palace of Holyrood House if you're interested in Scottish history. And if you're interested in the Scottish thistle, you can Google that because there's a lot of interesting stories about this thistle. It's not just found in Scotland. It's in um, Europe, Asia. It's even found in Australia where it's classed as a noxious weed, unfortunately. But I still think it's really beautiful. The bees were so fat, 
That's what fascinated me, how fat these bees were. Our domestic bees are so lean and skinny, they look like they could use a good feed compared to these bees. Anyway, guys, I hope you find a colour in the palette that goes with your project you're working on or inspires a new project. If you're doing amigurumi, you could always do a bee. Wouldn't that be fun? Anyway, until next time, stay safe, stay well, and make sure you have a crafty day with Shutterbug AU. Bye for now.